Welcome to the application delivery how-to series. My name is Christian and today's topic is all about how to use allow lists in the application firewall. To understand the allow list, we first have to understand the WAF security pipeline. It consists of three modules, the allow list, the positive security and the signatures. All of the modules work together to provide the full application firewall protection. They are supported by the industry-leading app log analytics provided by the RV platform. This video is all about the allow list functionality. It can be configured for parts of your application that should be bypassed from the application firewall checking or when other use cases require direct access to the unprotected application. Here are a couple of examples where the allow list will be in good use. First, if you want to bypass traffic from being checked by the WAF policy. This could be done for static resources or, for example, upload paths, where the clients can upload gigabytes of data. So instead of running a file upload through the WAF policy, it should be checked by the ICAP connected scanner before it hits the WAF processing. This is explained in another video. And your security team might want to run vulnerability scans on the unprotected application to find potential risks. That can be allowed with a bypass on the IP level for that scanner. The second use case for allowed list is traffic sampling. This enables the application firewall only on a subset of requests when a canary deployment style for a new WAF policy is required. The third use case is changing the WAF operation mode into detection for any matching path or request type. This allows to keep the general WAF policy in enforcement, but test parts of the application using the detection mode. Let's look at the three WAF modules and how they work together. The allow list as the first step in the security pipeline will validate traffic and send it to the application. Anything that is not yet validated will be processed by the positive security or the signatures, which we will explain in a specific how to video. Let me show you how the allow list is configured. We do this by looking into the WAF policy on a virtual service. And within that WAF policy, we'll find the allow list tab. Within the allow list tab, here I have examples for, for example, allow list path of files, allow list of an example IP that I have disabled, the sampling rate is still 100%, and I have an uh, example for the detection mode for our contact here. If I open this up, you will see that within the allow list configuration, you have a description, you have a name, you have the sampling rate, and you have a match, match criteria, and then the action for each of your allow list entries. And that's all for today for the quick demo of allow list. Please check out our other exciting videos in our application delivery how-to series. Thanks for watching.